All right, 12.33 Pacific time after about two and a half hours of delays. Uh, Boeing's about uh, set to uh, get its 747 in the air. This is a live shot right now from Everett's Payne Field. They've been waiting for some better weather. It was really foggy this morning. Right now they've got the 747-8, the largest Boeing plane to date, ready for takeoff. It is sitting there on the runway, just taxied down to one end, and it is getting set for its inaugural flight. This is something that... Uh, it's uncharacteristic of Boeing to roll out two planes so close together. Of course, the 787 uh, came out uh, a short time ago. It's taken a couple of a couple of flights, but the 747 is a little bit different. It is they have a passenger version and a freighter version of this. They're pinning most of their hopes here on the freighter version. It's the one that's a, b a better seller. It is about 18 feet longer than your traditional. 747. It's got a couple of new designs. I mean, basically, it's the same plane they've been flying for 40 years, but it has a new, more aerodynamic wing on it, and it's powered differently. The four jet engines now are uh, flying with the Gen X engines, the same ones that are used for the 787, which are more uh, fuel efficient and can uh, a little more power as well, so they can carry those heavier loads uh, farther and uh, more fuel efficient. So right now, basically, we're waiting for that plane getting set to take off. It was scheduled initially to take off about 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, around uh, the Puget Sound, there was just a low fog deck. So they've been putting it off for the uh, past hour. We kept getting half-hour updates. And right now, it looks as though it is getting set to take off. We will see. All right, we're going to uh, join our Seattle affiliate King 5 for the very latest on this. They have uh, somebody on scene, uh, aviation specialist Glenn Farley. Let's go ahead and listen in. Preparing to take off northbound out of Everett's Boeing, Boeing Field. Uh, and it will just be a few more uh, minutes, if not just a matter of seconds, before it goes. We'll see how long he may or may not hold up at the end of the runway. This is really a, uh, a spectacular airplane. It is so much larger than the other. It kind of doesn't look like it, but if you can picture those wings, now max out the ability to really handle this aircraft even inside of Boeing's huge Everett plant. Uh, it has got a wingspan that's about 12, 13 feet wider, and they actually can't hang on some parts on the end of the wing until they actually get it out of the factory. It's almost 20 feet longer. And uh, the this is the first time Boeing's introduced a new type of airplane, of course, this one being a derivative, as a freighter. But the significance of that is, is that the world's heavy freight air freight business is standardized around this airplane. So it's actually coming out as a freighter first. Uh, of course, it was of almost it was 40 years ago when the very first 747 uh, went into service back in 1970. So this has been a very very long run for what has been uh, clearly one of Be Boeing's best sellers over the years. And this airplane, of course, also coming out as a, uh, as a passenger version after this. There's about 73 of these that are on order as uh, freighters and about another uh, 26 uh, on order as passenger planes. Uh, Korean Airlines stepped up just a few weeks ago and put in an order for five. So uh, if anybody's listening to me, this is how we're going to handle this. Uh, when this airplane starts rolling, when it starts getting close enough, we're just going to listen to this airplane take off. And again, he is holding at the uh, end of the runway, which is kind of what we were expecting here. Of course, it's the pilots on board, just pilots on board for these first flights that have to, have to make that call. Uh, but uh, we're just waiting, hopefully, a few, no more than a few more minutes here uh, for things to, uh, for this airplane to take off. Uh, the chase planes are moving around into position and they are now on the west side of the airport. Uh, they'll go down, they'll turn around, they'll be off the wings of this airplane following it as it, as it goes. So uh, we may have maybe another minute or so, I'm thinking, before they go because of the way they're, uh, they're, they're setting this, uh, this flight up. Meanwhile, let me talk back, toss back to the studio if you got any questions in the meantime, because I think you've got about another 60 seconds here. I do have a couple questions. I, I know that there's been a lot of talk about this being so much more efficient, and it carries 60% more uh, in terms of tonnage. Uh, are there a lot of orders for this, Glenn? Is this something that a lot of, of companies, businesses have been waiting for? Well, of course, the air freight industry has been waiting for this, uh, this airplane. Remember, 747s, be they originally built as freighters or whether they have been converted from old passengers as freighters, the entire world has set up to handle this airplane. And this has been 
very, very successful for Boeing uh, in this freighter market, as well, of course, as the 747 as a passenger airplane. Okay, we are now rolling, and uh, as those chase planes come, on, come alongside off of each wing, they'll, of course, be uh, photographing uh, this airplane as it takes off uh, to see if, uh, primarily, if anything, if everything is good, and uh, uh, make sure, and here we go. I'm gonna stop talking, we'll just listen to it. Boeing's first 747-8, again the freighter version, in the air now, heading north out of Everett's Plane Pain Field. The original plan was that this first flight would be about four hours. Uh, with the timing, the fact that you've got media here from around the world, we'll see if they stick to that figure, if they may come back a little bit earlier. Uh, and we'll see, uh, see what happens there. But we'll have a lot more for you at uh, 5 o'clock tonight. That is a beast of an aircraft. <laughs> Just watching it lift off the ground, it's huge. Your heart stops as it sort of lifts off the ground and you it see does. it go into the air. Pretty exciting stuff. Glenn, thanks so much. Thank you, Glenn. The maiden flight of the new 747-8. And we'll be seeing more Gigantic. of that tonight at five, yeah. Hmm. Remember, save the cheerleader, save the world. Well, that catchphrase helped to launch uh, King 5 News there at 1240 uh, Pacific Time. And, of course, you just watched Boeing uh, launch its 747-8, the largest of its uh, 747s, 18, uh, 18 feet longer than the traditional 747 uh, carrying a payload. I think we heard 60% more there. It's got uh, some redesign there with the wing and the four engines now powered with the, the newer engines, uh, the, the same ones that powered the 787 Dreamliner. Uh, give it a little more fuel efficiency and a little more power there, give it more loft when it's uh, carrying all that extra payload. But uh, this was, a, again, supposed to happen about 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, foggy weather essentially uh, delayed things for for probably, well, it's been two and a half hours. But as you just saw there, Boeing rolled that down, uh, the, the uh, runway there at Everett's Payne Field took off, seemed without a hitch. Uh, again, this is the 747-8. Mainly what they're going to be marketing this to is, is for a cargo plane. They have somewhat of a market for it for a passenger plane, commercial airline, but pretty much the, the focus of the commercial is they're really pinning all their hopes on the 787 Dreamliner. They will have a, some bit, a bit of a market for the 747, the larger size, but uh, for the most part, that's going to be uh, rolled out as a freighter at, at this point. Now, Northwest News Today. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Greg Copeland. Boeing's biggest plane to date takes to the sky for the first time today. The 747-8 freighter took off from Everett's Payne Field around 12.30 this afternoon. Some bad weather delayed the flight for a couple of hours, but we kept an eye on it for you, carried it live as soon as it happened. This comes two months, of course, after the Dreamliner's maiden flight. King 5's Tim Robinson explains why this latest jet is also a major accomplishment for Boeing. Uh, they have 76 orders for the freighter version and uh, the balance of the 108 are for passenger. When Boeing started to develop the 747-8, it was billed as a passenger plane or a freighter. Boeing's initial orders of the plane are for both versions. It just happens that the um, cargo version of this was the better seller than the passenger version. That remains true to this day. There's a number of things that are building in air freight's favor. Boeing says the market now is more ripe for this plane to be marketed primarily as a cargo aircraft. The company, of course, is pinning its hopes for the future of passenger travel on the 787. And like the 787, the new 747-8 is more fuel efficient, but in the end, it's mostly just big, really big, and ready for big payloads. The uh, 747 does use the Gen X engines that uh, were developed for the 787. It has a new wing, it has some new systems, but by and large, it's still a derivative of a 40-year-old airplane. Tim Robinson. King 5 News. The test flight is expected to last about four hours. It's scheduled to land back at uh, Payne Field.